Today's call, 22 guest is psychotherapist Michelle Aycock. Michelle, great to see you again. Good to be back. Well, we're talking about depression tonight, and of course, May is National Mental Health Awareness Month, so a uh, good topic to be tackling at this point in time. Very good. Well, let's talk right now about, first of all, what depression is. Can you kind of lay that out for us? Sure. Um, depression is uh, what we call an individual's an emotional or psychological disorder um, where patients or individuals may experience uh, extreme sadness, um, you know, fatigue, they uh, are unable to function during the day, sleeping a lot, maybe even thoughts of suicide or death. Okay. Well, let's talk about some of those symptoms that people might be able to pick up on. Uh, there's some f and there's different types. There's uh, physical and mental, right? Absolutely. Um, first of all, we have um, the uh, emotional um, uh, symptoms of depression, which is, you know, feelings of hope, hopelessness, worthlessness. Uh, again, they're unable to function, sadness throughout the day, um, thoughts of death or suicide. Uh, and basically, they're just um, unable to function now as far as some the physical symptoms where they sleep all day, um, they may have a decrease in appetite, or, um, or again, they uh, may even experience dizziness and headaches. All right, and how do you treat depression? And is it something you can cure? Um, absolutely. It depends on the severity of the depression. Uh, depression, uh, again, is experienced in different people uh, in different ways. Um, if you really suffer from severe depression where you are unable to get through your daily activities, medication may be necessary. Uh, again, if it's mild depression, maybe um, psychotherapy or talking, uh, you know, your situation or maybe even learning about the causes of your depression would, would help. And uh, you talked about depression being situational. What are some of the factors that could set it off or is it just about anything? Well, uh, there are certain life events such as, um, you know, financial difficulties, uh, moving, um, death or divorce in your family, um, stress, you know, especially stress at work. Uh, also, um, it's very important that you know if your family has a history of depression. Okay. We're going to go to the phones and talk to Ray. Hi, Ray. Hey, how y'all doing? Doing very well. What's your question? Well, my question is, is there anything over the counter that you could get for depression that would help soothe some kind of light depression or something? Well, uh, again, I know that there are a lot of uh, things out there where, uh, you know, they claim to help with depression. Uh, again, I think it would be very important to identify whether you suffer from depression or not. And again, the way to do that is to really seek, uh, you know, professional help to see if uh, you do truly suffer from depression instead of just kind of taking any over-the-counter medication. All right, Ray, thank you very much. We appreciate that. And you have some tips that we've talked about a little bit so far. We want to throw those up. We have there are the top three that you were talking about, signs of depression. Yes, sadness throughout the day, nearly every day, uh, feelings of worthlessness, um, hopelessness, and especially thoughts of suicide or death. You really want to uh, seek help for that. All right, Michelle, thank you so much. Great to see you. That wraps up today's call.